This is the PartyPoker.net European Open 4. Semi-final one saw the first half of our final table consummated. Now it's time for semi-final two. Another seven winners sit down to find out which three will take their chips forward to the end game. Big bazookas on tap include Roland DeWolf, Yuha Helpy, and teenage sensation Annette Overstock. Let's see who can play and who's just consomme. I'm really looking forward to today, coming up against Yuha again. I know that he's going to try and finally get the better of me, but hopefully I'll be able to put a few nice moves together on the table and uh, entertain the viewers, so it should be fun. I'm relatively relaxed. This is my first ever competition and it's all a new experience for me. I'm enjoying the experience. I'm looking forward to the game. I'm in a really positive mood, uh, actually, uh, surprisingly, because I've been running very bad the last couple of months, uh, but the win in the heat actually gave me quite a bit of confidence, uh, and I've been playing a lot of sit and goes online to prepare. So yeah, I feel really good about it, quite confident, and uh, hoping for a good result. Today's to attack is, is a bit different from the normal heat, because I have to uh, build a stack to be able to compete in the final. So I won't be just looking to make it to the final, I need a big stack there. The lineup here is sort of quite dynamic, to say the least. Um, I wouldn't fancy having a coin flip in this, uh, in this uh, heat because everyone there is sort of like, you've got the luckiest five or six people in poker. So, uh, you know, I, I need to be about 88% in any, in any coup to have any chance of winning it. So, uh, um, no, I'm actually looking forward to it. It's a, it's a game like any others and uh, I shall just uh, I shall just approach the situation, see what happens, and uh, and try and be there in the shake-up. I'm guessing I'll be playing pretty aggressive from the start. Um, I don't want to go through with a short stack. I want to beat her with a chip lead if I can. So I'll try to get as many chips as possible. I tend to uh, change my whole attitude when I'm on the table. I'm a different person. I can be leery, aggressive, sometimes rude, which is probably a flaw, but uh, it all works in my favour because I'm uh, I tend to speech a lot of people to give me their chips. Semi-final two, can it be as good as semi-final one? I don't know, they've got a long way to go. They're in the box with Phil Helmuth and uh, players are certainly uh, have more star power tonight, Phil. It's a nice lineup. They sure do, and uh, I mean, semi-final number one, we started a little slow, but that thing ended with a bang. Chips on this table, like semi-final one, 100,000 per player, yellow's worth 1,000, blues are two, reds are five. There is 700,000 in play, and they will all go to the final in the hands of three players. I don't know what's gonna happen today. I mean, I think that I think everybody's going to play patiently while well, they're seven-handed and six-handed. So that's something to look for. And I'll be surprised if someone tries to dominate at that early a stage because you can't really dominate when it's six or seven-handed. What's going to be interesting is when you get down to five-handed and especially four-handed, how aggressive some of the players get. Because when you're four-handed and you have the chip lead, everybody else has to make it to the finals. And then they have to lay down a lot of hands and you can get a little crazy. Yeah, I mean, and we saw last uh, last time Pass. that the people who really controlled Pass. the game in the early going didn't even make the five. They were the first two out, I think, in Ellis, Mike Ellis, and Based Dave Broadhurst. So total. Pass. it's uh, it, we shouldn't we shouldn't uh, take that much from someone getting an early lead here, should we? Exactly. Uh, I mean, an early lead means nothing in this Pass. format. I mean, really. Cool. Cool. And this is sort of a rematch of the Heat. Annette Overstud, Dave Maddy. <laughs> you can see in that smile, she's thinking, here we go again. <laughs> because he uh, he called her something severely. Uh-oh. And look at this. We have Annette has flopped top pair with a kicker, and Maddy has an over pair of 2 eight. So I expect, I expect him to somehow get Five. in around 20, 25,000, 30 each by the end of this hand at the most. It's, um, Raised. And there's the super aggressive young internet style. Cool. I have top pair. Raise it up. More. Cold. Cold. It's interesting. And Maddie called her instantly. Mm. Now they played together, so he knows how aggressive she is. 
Yeah, and I'm surprised at Annette because if there's one Finish player at this table 12. who who knows that Dave Maddy, uh, if he leads out, he might have something, it, it's Annette. This is similar to the way he played. Yeah, yeah but she has top pair, top kicker. She made a raise on the flop. Nothing wrong with that. Now let's see if she's able to, to, to slow down and put the brakes on. 12. Oh, but 000. he's not going to allow her. He led right out. Brilliant play. I mean, this is the first hand, and uh, he led right out, and, you know, and she for, he turned her into a caller. And uh, this is a beautiful hand here. Yeah. And Annette has to consider that he could have a worse six or something like this. I mean, and he, yeah. Annette's thinking he could have anything. If no ace or six comes, and there's a three, if he could bet 15,000 here or 16, now he's going to yeah. check, and she's yeah. going to check. Yeah. Six. But as I predicted, someone won or, lo won or lost 30000 roughly on that hand. And yeah, you're for right. the first hand, that's a shocker for the strength of those hands. But he played a nut perfectly. I think when, uh, when Roland won his first uh, WPT title in Paris, Yuha got seconds. They were head up Pass. for a while, and that sort of forged the bond between them. Uh. Right, and so, you know, they and, and Roland does a nice yes. Yuha imitation, you know, he's like, <laughs> Yuha help me, the German. Well, he's not German, but, you know. Race to 6,000 total. You, you do admit, though, that the combination of the two of them, if, if their talents could be combined into one Pass. poker player, it would be pretty awesome, wouldn't it? I agree, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> to eight. Uh, Sorry, love. Can't do that. No. I think Matthew's okay. trying to re-raise here. Marty, do you want to come over? He said 2-8. Two two eight. Eight. I said 2-8. Yeah, two two eight. Eight. No, he, he, he must raise. raise because you said, oh, raise. Yes. So you were, you, your minimum raise is 6 yes. with 6. No, it's Fine. There's only 4. Your minimum raise is 6 with 6. Okay. Okay. I'll deal with this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So so the, the, the okay. Let, let me deal with this. Sorry. <laughs> now, here's, what, yeah. here's, yeah. What, here's where Matt Marty is. He's just doing his job, and this right. is what I love. He said, you know what? Uh, thanks for the advice, but I'll deal with this. <laughs> right. Now, that's what you'd like. You like a floor man that takes control and says, I'll tell you what the rule is. Uh, absolutely. And, and there was two rules in play there. One, Marty ruled that uh, Matty had intended to raise, uh, and they're going to let that go as raise. The second, the minimum raise is not uh, six plus four, but it's uh, here at the in this format, they, uh, the minimum raise is the total of the last bet, so it has to be six plus six. Okay. Um, <coughs> there's actually not many places where they where they do that, uh, where the, the raise must be the total of the Check. last bet. Check. That's that's right. That's pretty rare. Uh, and look at this. Tyler has raised it up, and Maddie re-raised, but he min re-raised. Twelve thousand. Now Maddie bets out twelve thousand. He has a pair and a straight draw. Second pair. Tyler has an overcard. Did you see that? He has two overcards and a flush draw. He's actually cool. a favorite right now. If he moved in, he would have probably won the hand. But he doesn't know that. For, he would have. For a guy with such an aggressive sense. reputation, wouldn't you have expected a check raise there? Or do you think he's worried about the big pair? He doesn't want to go out early. Right. You know? He doesn't want to go out early. And now he's checked it. And now it would be brilliant if Maddie could make another big bet. But Perfect. he didn't bet enough. If Maddie could have bet 24,000, he takes his pot down right now. 12 is, you know, kind of an easy call for Tyler. Is there any indication from that, that Tyler, can he, is there anything he can think about as far as making a raise, representing a five? I mean, is that? Well, he's thinking about that now because he's trying to figure out, can I raise? If I raise, will it work? Well, Maddie is already, you know, Maddie's already seems to be the most aggressive player at the table. So Tyler right. has to think he's tough right. to bluff, but he's trying it anyway. There's a, sort of an axiom in poker I mean, you, you don't want to bluff a guy before you, you're pretty sure he's uh, he's experienced. You know you, that you know what he's thinking, right? Yeah. I mean, it's tough to bluff an inexperienced player sometimes. Cool. And oh. look at this. Wow. He raised him 21,000, and Matte insta-called it with just threes. <coughs> now, if Matty would have moved all in, he would have just won the pot. I mean, Matty's right, and he's ahead, but it's a pretty brave call, isn't it? <laughs> it's a great call. It's close to nutsy. He just put in. He just put in a lot of money there, and look at this. He's got the best hand with two threes. What a great play there. And he called so quickly that he may have froze Tyler from trying to bluff here. If you're Tyler right now, you're thinking, this guy's got two kings, right? It's yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I, and, I, and, and t if Tyler moves all in and wins the spot, I'm going to have to say that was half insane, half beautiful. But I don't think he can do it. 20 20 he started to hear his voice 20,000 <laughs> his voice was cracking yeah. and just 
It seems like kind of a half-committed bet, Phil. Do you think he's thinking, well, maybe Maddie, this, this guy's... Maddie, yeah. Maddie just called a $21,000 raise here. I'd be surprised if he lays his hand down now. Is there some kind of hope against hope from Tyler that Maddie has something like a higher flush draw? Well, I mean, he's just he's trying to follow through on the bluff, but he made a weak follow through. I just don't think he bet enough. Pass. Well, and it worked. Oh That's unbelievable. Oh, wow. That was a very reckless play. <laughs> that kid, he looks like he's about to throw up. I want to go to the final table with a lot of chips, so I'm gonna. I'm not gonna sit about for the whole time. I am gonna be making some moves, hopefully making some great plays and getting myself there. Back to the action here at the PartyPoker.net European Open Four. I know you high is is uh, sometimes. He, he, can, he makes the moves, but he really, he doesn't make a mistake, does he, Phil? I mean, he's just, he seems to just always make the, the logical, perfect cool. move. Uh, cool. Well, cool. he's very good at playing when he has a hand. Cool. And uh, <coughs> I think sometimes cool. he gets himself cool. in trouble. Cool. 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 How did you beat him anyway? <laughs> I've never seen you how lose myself. Well, Yuha, Yuha will get some money in and some bad spots. Raise to 14,000 total. Pass. Um, Pass. This is... Pass. Okay, so Healthy is, is raised with Deuce 6 offsuit here. Hey, what's this? What's, the, what's the up to? And Maddie is... Maddie is... Look at this. Cool. Maddie is just limp with Ace-King, and he's just cool. going to call again. That's amazing to me. Now, what is the explanation for why Healthy raised here from the button? Well, he just thought he was going to try to pick up some... Again, it's logic in his mind. Everybody limp, nobody has a hand, right? And so he's made a race with Deuce 6. Maddie has played it perfectly, but, 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 but you know, Maddie, for him to just call the raise there, he needs to have a hand like Queens, Kings, Aces, Jacks, or Tens, something like that. He should have just re-raised and taken the money down, because now he's given Helpy a chance to outdraw him for the 37000 in the pot. He hasn't, but it's not... It's not guaranteed how far Maddie's going to go here, is it? Check. How, how does does Yuha have to follow this through? Well, Yuha will follow it 8, through, 000. and he's he's just followed it through for a small amount, eight thousand, into thirty-seven thousand. So now, cool. Cool. I mean, I know Yuha made a logical play there, Phil, but it does seem fraught with danger. How 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 many bullets is he going to fire? Well, we'll see. This is where Yuha gets himself in trouble sometimes, is that he, he gets involved Check. in a bluff and he takes it too far. Check. So actually, I like the fact that he checked there. He's decided to give up. Now, if like the seven of diamonds comes, he can try to try to, try to to bluff it. Some straight and flush card. Hmm. Not good enough. Or is it? Check. How much does now, he have to, yeah. Now, Yuha may consider betting here. He might just give up. Um, check. Yeah. What? Who says first? first? You check okay, first. Okay, we have to check. This is you right? have to show first. Last aggressive action. Okay, can we check? <laughs> you <have to laughs> show Roland! Please. Roland! Roland, Roland, Roland wants to see you, Oz. Then show her first. So tell him. Yeah, okay, Roland. Look at this. This is <laughs> great so drama so here. So Roland! has hey, really given it to you, He says, you so have to show your first, hand free. Wait, 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 wait. You, don't you have to show does not want to show this hand. You understand he doesn't want to lose his table. Yeah, Roland knows first. what's going on. Roland knows he's yeah. bluffing. You have to show yeah, I have a... Uh, two high? Seven? No, no. Six. Six, though. So. <laughs> 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 I've showed that, so... You have to show both. You have to show both, yeah, to show both. both <laughs> now, now that was now. Now Ro, what Roland just did is he Play forced Yuha to show his bluff. It was brilliant on Roland's part. Well played. And look at Roland. Now he's teasing him. Well played. He said to Yuha. Obviously, uh, Maddie has kind of been making the action. You can see a hundred percent. He's thrown up here. He's played every hand. Uh, look at that. Uh, I've never seen a hundred percent before. <laughs> It'd be wonderful if he can keep that going, isn't it? He played that ace king beautifully. After playing every hand, to just kind of throw a curveball in there and just call with ace king. Pass. I keep thinking Tyler's on a short stack, but actually he's a runaway chip leader right now. I, I guess he can basically play as many hands as he wants, can't he? Pass. Well, I mean, he you know he he, he got himself in a in a bad position and got away with it. Uh, Roland's back. Uh, Raise six thousand total. I was wondering where he went. 
Now here, here's an interesting scenario. Now Roland has Ace King. Pass. But he's been playing so, and he's on the button. It's, he's perfectly positioned to get action here. Yeah, can't either. And oh. what happens? Somehow, some way, Maddie throws away the ace four. Roland's reputation. Uh, uh, you, Maddie's supposed to re-raise based on his reputation, but they've also noticed Roland has a single hand. Well. Yeah, it seems like Curtis is playing this pot more based on Roland's reputation than, than what's actually going Check. on. And that's exactly right. That's why Curtis did call a flop top two pair. Let's see how much more Roland loses. Six thousand. That's not silly. That's perfectly polite. I said not to do anything silly. That's perfectly polite. Less than half the pot. Fast or slow? It's such a big hand. Should he play it fast? I'd like to just yeah, see right. him smooth call. They're going to be at it all day. But he's going to raise and win it, probably. Raise 12,000 more. It's a big enough raise where Roland has an easy fold here. But it is Roland. <laughs> yeah, these two have a bit of history together. I, I think it's mostly in cash cool. games. and. Well, it's hard to make an argument for that call, is it, Phil? Or it is hard to make an argument for that call. I, I would like to. I mean, Roland bet the flop, and he got raised. I mean, a decent-sized raise. He should have folded his hand. But you have to understand what Roland sees is a long history between him and Curtis, and that's why he made the call. Twenty-five thousand. Big bet. Well, Your Roland, spades. don't do something stupid here and bust yourself. I mean, my God. You barely started this thing. And this is why I was worried about rolling. <coughs> Bigger flush, flush. Still good. You should be able to figure this out, Jesse. I mean, nothing's changed as far as the turn card has changed nothing, right? But Roland knows that. No, and that's not true because now if he had a straight draw, okay. like a four or five, the five hit. So now, if Curtis had four or five, he now has a pair of fives. Less hands that Roland could beat. I yeah. mean, he'd have to put them on specific cards. That's that why stage. he said, "Do you have a spade draw?" He could only ah. beat a spade draw. Oh, I do have spades. One nil. Roland lost too much money on that hand. But 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 well it's roll. hard for us to criticize. <laughs> it. You put me that blood there. You go. It's hard for us to criticize because we don't know well, the whole down, history the between down. the two players. Right. But I know this much: Yuha wasted no time in giving the needle <laughs> back <laughs> to Roland. He said, "Well played, Roland." Nothing. <laughs> To which everybody laughed. Yeah, you were talking about etiquette before. I mean, what's the etiquette of the needle? That's okay, right? I mean, needling is okay. I, I, I don't like it when someone needles me when I've lost a pot, and I never needle someone when they lose a pot. On the other hand, these two go at each other all the time, so it's okay. Cool. I'll tell you what, Pass. Annette has got Real just what the doctor ordered for her. Annette picks up the kings, and Roland is in a, is in a dangerous ahead. state. He's just lost a lot of chips with Ace King and been needled by Yuha on top of it. And, you know, and he's gotten involved with the Ace Six. Cool. Helpy, I'm surprised, played the 6 9 here. He's in really bad shape. Well, are, are they, they're, they're both uh, in love with Overstad's reputation of having any two cards early, aren't they? Yeah. And oh then my look at gosh. This. Oh my gosh. Top two for Yuha and a hand that he really shouldn't have been involved in. And that's got he's, the king of diamonds. Yeah. He's, I believe he's still an underdog. Yeah, he's still an underdog. Look at that. He's flopped top two pair. 11, Perfect 000. flop for him. He's still a 15% underdog. Pass. Come on. Roland made Hold a great on. lay down. And. Well, he's a he's asking Annette a big question. Although I'm not sure how many chips she has, she doesn't have that many back. She she may feel like she has to call even if she's uh she's, she's called <laughs> yeah. and and look at this. I guess it's a coin flip. It is, wow. and I mean, uh, Healthy has Annette covered by twenty thirty thousand, but Healthy's been pretty lucky uh, the last <laughs> the last few times I've watched him play. But so is Overstrad. So, you know, I mean, from the luck point of view, this thing is like a coin flip, right? Well, once the uh, cards, the flop came down, Phil, the money had to go in. Really. <laughs> She's criticizing his call with 6 9, and I, it wasn't a very good call, but he might get punished and he might get rewarded. I mean, we have to see. <laughs> That's a good card for Annette. She's made the best hand now. She and can't complain now. He only has four wins two sixes and two nines in the deck. Do you see diamond? Even more? <laughs> <laughs> you said you want more? You already made the best hand. Oh, it was close. How are you running in that? Not so good. Kings up. 
and uh, healthy. He, he's, he'll be a very short yeah, no. stack. That's all he can do. Sorry, he may be out. Oh, Is someone like different. him? I what happened? The six, nine off suit. I, 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 just, I don't know what happened. <laughs> no, no, it's, sorry, it's, sorry. it's inexplainable. Come on, he's uh, not us. 34, pathetic. He doesn't understand for that. <laughs> Oberstar back in the game, 106. It's yeah, just one of those flop, can get, get really crazy nights. Nice. after Perry can get it in. But now she's also showing the world how good she is with those moves. But they don't really accomplish all that much. And eventually, you know, you might you might get rid of the eight deuce play. You might need stretch. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I don't know. Pass. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you know? Pass. I mean, you have to, obviously. Pass. You tweak your game because uh, you start having a little bit of trouble with it. You know, it starts not yeah, working. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Exactly. And everybody realizes what you're doing. For her now. <coughs> There's Yuha with pocket jacks. Cool. Just called, which I like. Oh, he's got the right customer there. There's 15,000 more. <laughs> <laughs> and now Keston has to call him. I mean, it's a very, I mean, the Helpy's been, ex unless he loses his hand, he's been extremely lucky here. I mean, to pick up a pair against a pair on the blind like that, he was getting called no matter what he did. So, I mean, that's just extremely lucky, unless, of course, the three comes. I mean, the nice blinds stuff. are one and two. I mean, the raise by Keston, 15,000 yeah. into a 4,000 pot. Uh, that was a real shutdown bet. Uh, I yeah. mean, I know he he was making a statement, Well, he was I just guess. moving yeah, them all in. Yeah, just moving them in, okay, basically. I mean, yeah. Wow. I mean, Yuha's had some very fortunate situations. I mean, you know, I mean, he gets, he got himself down low uh, and then just picks up pair over pair on the blind, so that was The double lucky. up will uh, bring him to 34,000, so... Uh, Whoa, almost not so not so lucky yeah. for him. That would have been one spot higher. He's got a couple of funny rivers in this tournament. Looking at the leaderboard, the first level, forgetting the chip counts, who's playing good poker? Who's got to work on what they're doing? I mean... Uh, well, I mean, Yuha, when you play 6-9, uh, you know, you put yourself at risk. And it, it could have worked one way or it could have worked the other, but you put yourself at risk. And he ended up getting a lot of chips into that pot. And so, you know, I, he that was not really like him. Uh, Roland has not really played badly. I mean, he happened to lose a little bit more with Ace-King than he should have. Um, and I don't like the way he played the Ace-King. Maddie's been all over the map. Now, if Maddie would have made that $20,000 call with the Ace-3 of hearts, then he'd be the massive chip leader right now, and he'd be kind of a handful. For all the fireworks we've had, uh, I think there's only been one all-in and call, and that's Helpy. What are you doing? What am I doing? Pass. Huh? Coming too often. Raised to 9,000 total. They'll be feeling Pass. good right now, Tyler. Pass. Very good. Pass. Pass. Going nowhere. Here comes Pass. Robin, however. 5,000 more, and it's not a bad hand to take on the sixes What's with. What this time? Don't know. Well, and that one with the 9, 7 of... Don't or no, know. she lost with well, that hand. Don't know. You must have a plan. <laughs> Flush draw. Check. This is someone that Josh likes to talk to. I think he feels like he's... 13,000. Able to talk Robin and doing what he wants. Oh, there you Four. go, Keston. Like All right, that, that move account, is going please? to work. <laughs> is it... Um, <laughs> is it fraught with danger, <coughs> or is it the way to play the hand, really? I, I kind of like the play. I mean, he's, you know, he's... I mean, look, he's right, too. I mean, yeah. the fact is Tyler has a weak hand. The board is queen, deuce, three. And so Keston's moved all in. Tyler's supposed to fold this hand. So, I mean, Keston's made the right move. And look at that. He's a favorite. So even if he gets called. But he doesn't want to be called. And hmm. now I, To me, Tyler's just wasting our time here. Right. There is no way he can call. No way he's going to call. So if he spends like a full minute studying, then, you know... can't possibly be think that 
that uh, Keston has a deuce or a three. Keston's been Jeez, playing super tight. Mad. Is it? Yeah. Okay, now, but, that, that, but here I give him credit nice. because Tyler's 50. talking to Keston now. He'll basically have 200 if he folds still, I mean, which he'll well, love. Good news for Keston, anyway. It's going to give him a big... Hi, cool. No, really? That cool. is unbelievable. Well, I mean, uh... I mean, he's going to feel great because it's 50-50, but it's still... Wow. Even the... It's the... It, that's, that was the it best was possible good. situation, right? Look at the right? shock on Keston's yeah, face. He's like, unbelievable. Yeah. You yeah. have shocked... Everybody at <clears> the table <throat> shocked. They're like, how could this kid <throat> call with sixes? I don't like the call. Wow. But I give him credit for figuring out that Keston was weak through talking, so I can't criticize it that much. Wow. It was uh, gutsy. I mean, and, and maybe Tyler was thinking, I don't know, Phil, that if he wins this pot, He's going to run over him. I, I, I think five years from now, Tyler wouldn't make the call. He'd, he'd, he'd lay it down pretty easily. But he's 20, and he's adventuresome. And, and that look at was this. a good he's, card. Now Kesson just needs to... He Kesson's, has to hit. He's Kesson's a dog in, now. Kesson's in you shock. You ever one of these? Look at him. He's like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> has to be a heart, a seven, a nine. Why are you pick on me? What about Annette? Annette never leaves Oh, my. Good luck, what a everyone. shocker. Unbelievable. I mean, Private. I can't believe it. I mean, it, and Keston has made such a reasonable play there. But what a call by Tyler, the kid. I don't care being seventh, sixth, fifth, fourth. It really makes absolutely no difference at all. So you have to get chips. You want to, You really need 350, 400,000 chips. Um, and you, you can't get them by winning the antis. So you have to, <laughs> you've got to get them in there sometime, some, sometime. So uh, it really makes no difference. Lions will hit three and six styles in now. Three out of six are going to go to the final it's table. It's hard to watch for uh, seen anyone doing. What, uh, what's the most important factor to watch during this level, Phil? Well, yeah, with the, the 3,000, 6,000 blinds, now you're starting to see some short stacks. All right, the wolf with 52,000. He can't panic, though. He has to remain patient, but he may panic, and then... It was the third. You know, Maddie's a little bit low as well, and, you know, I think Curtis and Helpy are, you know, 81, 82,000. So people are starting, it's starting to become a consideration. The blinds are getting big enough where people are starting to feel short, and they are a little short. But not enough to go crazy. Three and then six. Roland uh, didn't have much of a hand, but he did fold his button. And uh, if you were sitting in, well, and obviously Curtis is going to call. Called him every other time he's okay. raised. Cool. Is that so friendly? Yep. He's a friendly guy. I mean, I Curtis has called now with deuce five, deuce three. Of course he's going to play the 10 six suited for the <laughs> min raise. And this is a, a flop that could generate some action. Maddie has Twelve. enough flush draw, and Twelve Curtis thousand. has a 10. So. And. Because the bets are bigger now, the blinds are bigger now, it's more expensive for Curtis to find out where he's at. Hmm. Raising would seem very precarious. Raising's a little bit too loose here because if he raises and he's against king, queen, then That's he's cool. gonna get re-raised. Cool. I think call's a good play here. And Maddie's got look. another bullet. If the flush misses and Maddie's got another bullet, he could win. Yep. All in. All in. Well, that's good. That's a good move. That is a good move. He's bet around. Is that the same? He's bet what? Forty-one thousand. He's bet. Yeah, he's bet about forty thousand. Forty-one thousand. Exactly forty-one. Forty-one thousand. It's a very tough call for Curtis to make here. Now, Curtis is supposed to. This is, this is one of those calls where it just comes down to the read. I wouldn't criticize Curtis if he made the call. I wouldn't criticize him if he made the fold. But right now he's looking the wrong direction. He's looking at the chips in the middle. That's not what he should be looking at. Not at the cards, not at the chips. Look at Maddie. That's better. The form line on Dave Maddie, if you had watched his heat, Phil, is that this is not a bluff. I mean, the, the form line is at least a jack. I, I mean, I... It was about the first time he's ever pushed in on a flush draw that from, from my knowledge. I mean, he's been playing some tough patient poker, Maddie. I mean, you know, I mean, he's for the last hour or two. I think it's a, if, in fact, I'd have to give Curtis a lot of credit if he made the call here because it's a tough call. I mean, all he has is second pair. He's, he's 
looking very suspicious at him, isn't it? Here he was. Is it because there's so many hmm. draws out there that Curtis is even thinking about this? Yeah, exactly. What if he has a flush draw? What if he has a straight draw? Cool. Curtis says he's 50 50. He's probably, uh, probably only 35 40% chance of calling here, but he's claiming 50 50. He's trying to get a reaction from Maddie. I like the fact I now call. that he's looking. Cool. I give him credit for making a great call. You have to say great wow. call. Wow! You have to say great call. It, so you say he read weak. <coughs> he saw that Matty did not like this. I mean, yeah, yeah, he read weak. I mean, if if either it's either either he just shoved in his money, or he read weakness. And I'd like to give him credit and say that he read weakness and made a great call. call. This uh, cool. hero know. stuff from Phil Curtis. He's uh, he's seventy three percent here. He's in great shape. He just has to dodge an ace or a spade. Give him credit for a great call. Something red. I mean, all day long he hasn't made a call like this and. Oh, thank you. Desperately unlucky. That was that was so Curtis's <laughs> tournament. Man, he's got a smile on his face like he just ate a beacock. Holy crow. Thank you. Wow. I mean, that's a brutal, brutal yeah. thing. I mean, the man, you know, Curtis called 41,000 as a three to one favorite and uh, stay away from me. Ouch. Money in on the turn. Maddie was uh, in trouble by then and Curtis, the great call, but the flush hit, so uh, he's short. You know, those are the kind of cards that make you pull your hair out and have turned me into the poker bread. Mm -hmm. Matty, of course, uh, he's going to be here a while. Take off the jacket. He's got 130000 Look at this. Yeah. Matty's got the chips to get snug. Emergency All Rose in from Rose. Phil. Rose. Here it comes. How much is there? <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, bullets for a net. Now, <laughs> Curtis has moved Look in for 29. Look at what is going on here. <coughs> Curtis has moved in for 29,000. She, she's got a decision here, doesn't she? If she wants to isolate or try and trap, I mean, is, or is it automatic all in? Well, it's not an automatic all in. I mean, for, for 29,000, I'd like to see her just call in case someone picks up a hand behind her like jacks, queens, or kings, or... Ace King, you know, give them a chance to get involved. You know what I mean? I mean, in fact, I hate the race. She's cutting down her stack, and uh, cool. she has nice. called Phil. She Ooh. has called, and oh, she's got and roll, and she got oh, wow. him. Wow! And roll is going all in with the jacks. Yeah. He knows, so he and knows. she insta called. Yeah, and when she insta called, he knew instantly. <laughs> and he said, and "So really sick." Said. <laughs> wow. Oh my God. Phil, we're gonna, we're gonna lose two oh, players. Oh, no. By her oh, no. not raising, no. she induced oh, Roland to move all in. Oh, if she would have raised, she would have raised him out. So this is pretty unlucky. Well, she's not through. I mean, I, I was 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 Dwolf. I mean, he had no options there. I mean, you just can't. Well, just there's an all-in and there's a call, and, right. and Annette, you know, may have called with sevens, eights, yeah, so nines, in my mind, just, you know, ace, jack, ace, so. queen, a lot of hands <laughs> <answers laughs> Because he told me so. you came yeah, seven, so I know, it's in my mind. He's my best time. Pretty unlucky. I see that Tyler folded a jack here, so Roland has one out. You could see double all-in, Annette covers them both. I kind of have a feeling he's going to hit a jack, but I mean, it's like impossible, so. Yeah, I would Oh, you got spades. Okay, he could hit spade, spade, but yeah, good. I've got eight of spades is That's an cool. exciting Deuce? card. It gives, Let's put uh, an eight. It gives uh, eight of spades. Curtis, oh, yeah. Eight of spades. Excited. That gets everybody excited. Gives one guy a straight draw and gives one guy a flush draw. Oh, right. There's the four of spades. Oh, that's it. Five, five, five is going to split it. Roland now needs a spade to win this pot. Roland's favorite now. Or a jack. <laughs> yeah, and 64%, two out of three, and that takes the lot. At least there's drum. Yeah. Oh my good god. Uh, it's a oh, 10! Wow. bike, Roland. Oh wow. Well, Let's go, it's time to go. Yeah. Bye bye. Oh, oh, oh wow. I've hardly done anything wrong. He's I mean, out. I you had one out. Yeah, I didn't know, did I? Have I done something did. wrong going all in with 10? He had know? one out. <laughs> one out. <laughs> he couldn't hit the 10 of spades. Well played. Had to be Who the 10 of clubs. That's amazing. Okay. And uh, rolling out. out here in so here nine thousand dollars. One out, a net. Uh, one out, a net. I feel like I was. Uh, <laughs> Eighth place in the seven hundred sit and go. Well done, because I'm gonna end up seven. You must be eight because you're already eight. It's gonna match the twenty nine. So here. Just a cruel, cruel setup here. I mean. Uh, 
was it was the story written or a, did a, a, did Annette make this happen by the, the call? Well, it was kind of an easy place just yeah. to call, really. I mean, if she would have re-raised, I would have really criticized that. She thought about it. But when she just calls there, uh, it's really tough for DeWolf to get away. Now, he still can get away because he can still put her on Queens, Kings, Aces, or Ace, King. But it's a difficult one now. I was very patient, just waiting for a decent hand, and it never arrived. Finally, I finally got a good hand. I'd waited a long time. I had jacks and, you know, fourth best hand you can have and hold them. But someone who'd been dealt aces and uh, can make it. I have the feeling she's going to start playing like Ian Fraser did last night, right around this time. Pass. 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 I can't afford to lose any more views. Eh? They want us to play each, each other. It's setting it up. I'm doing a lot of limping. Can't really afford to limp here, can he? Oh. He can. It's the first time he looked at Yuha's stack, so Yuha might sense that he's strong, but Yuha might just move well, with the king eight here. Every time, so it's better to move in right here, like Phil oh, Seth. Okay, Phil Curtis Ray has an easy call, call here. But, I mean, it's possible to lay it down somehow. It's 45, is it? You limping with Ace Jack in the small blind, wow. and the big blind moves in, it's an insta call. Healthy. I would limp in, and the minute he said, oh, and it's I call. I hope he's gotten a bit unlucky here, but uh, All right. of course he has to go. Cool. 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 Must have the this best is hand. great news I, for Curtis. You have the best hand, but you're lying. Well, he made the right call, and let's see how he lucky Yuha has is. I mean, it's going to be a very tight four if Helpy gets knocked here. Yep. Curtis needs to hold. It's a good flop for Curtis. Yuha's still looking for an eight or king. Curtis is thinking, turn an ace and end this race. That's what he's thinking. Hmm. Uh oh. Yep, there you go. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Help you. Can he suck out again? My God. It's not over. Curtis of needs a queen or an ace. Yeah, he's got yeah. a couple yeah. of them. Yeah. Made it That's more exciting it. at least. No, I was happy with the way it was going. Shop. Wow. Wow. Come on. I mean, come on. You know. I guess Roland is correct. Curtis trapped, away from he me, sprung it, and uh, Healthy still <laughs> wriggled <laughs> out. Wow. <coughs> he's, he's had some rough luck at Curtis. He I has. Mean, I mean, he really think has. Think about it. Curtis is in the big blind for 10,000 here, which is a quarter of his stack, Phil. Plus? Yeah, he, he could still get away. I mean, I, I don't know, you know, depending on his hand. Plus. You'd, I was going to say, you'd imagine that's something pretty good. Raise to 20,000 title. It is. 20,000. There's a min raise. I like the min raise with the queens. You want to induce action. Plus. There's an easy lay down, and okay. Phil Curtis, two sevens, has to cool. move in. in. Cool. Unlucky for Phil Curtis. <laughs> he's been in some pickles tonight. I mean, he is, and he's jarred and jellied here. That's That's it. I mean, yeah, it's not yeah, looking good now, uh, you okay. know. He's done it enough so <laughs> far. One, so. Well, let's, uh, let's face it, I mean, Phil Curtis, he kind of deserved to hit a seven, doesn't he? I don't think he should do He's done it before. Yeah, well, he's been, a bit of, he's been a bit unlucky. I mean, no, no, he had Yuha uh, help you all in uh, with ace jack against king eight. and got hearts, too. He's been a bit unlucky. Wait. <laughs> and there it is, a seven. How come wow. everybody gets what you think they deserve, Phil? <laughs> <laughs> I am God. <laughs> no, I, it's not over yet. Not Tyler over yet. could no. still hit a queen here. God, is, is oh. Curtis just destined for the final now. trouble? Well, look, I mean, he's been, you know, he was pretty unlucky. I, I mean, Yuha took that king eight and hit a king on him. Oh, oh pain. close. How much? Uh, another 19. Yeah, he's uh, going to have 80 odd thousand now. Is uh, Meanwhile, Tyler finished third. There was a king six in the small hmm. blind. Would have made a straight. Look, every penny, look. 
every penny. I'm not going to do anything really that differently in the semi-final. I mean, if I if I get some good opportunities, uh, I'm going to try and be aggressive as, as much as possible. Although, uh, looking at the lineup, uh, it's a pretty aggressive table. So um, I'm going to sit back in the early stages and, uh, and then just take it from there. Welcome back. Well, it's been 78 hands, Phil, and the bet frequency stats are actually quite similar, but do, you know, do they lie? I mean, uh, I, mean I guess Maddie has been the tightest at the table. <laughs> you look at that, hands won eight. Remember, yeah. we just won one. So. <laughs> uh, I mean, you know, and then Phil Curtis, what well, you see it right there, don't you? I mean, Phil Curtis has thrown away way too many hands. He's right. I, I, if I were playing his chips, I'd have another five or six on that. So it would be hands one, not thirteen, but more like eighteen or nineteen. You know, I mean, Yuha, if you add up those, uh, all that free money that he's received in the big blind, you know, it uh, probably is forty, fifty thousand. He'd be in fifth place. You're making Pass. a strong case, Phil. That I mean, obviously Yuha is a great. And here's player. Maddie yeah. on the button with Ace Deuce. Cool. Cool. Call? What is that? Yeah, it's... I mean, Maddie's... No! Plus. Are you kidding? He folded the 10-8 for 5,000 more. I hope he has a 10-7. And, no and if Helpy wins this pot, they'll have let him. But... I and mean, what if a 10 comes? Helpy's supposed to go broken. Instead, he, he wins the pot. It is the 7. Yeah, well, they let him get there. 15,000. I mean, Phil, you, you made a strong case. Obviously, Yuha is a great player, but these players have allowed him, in your mind, to, to get here in the sense that... Not in my mind, in reality. Yeah, if you put other players in, in some of the seats, they would have put enough pressure on Yuha to, to send him skint with the cards he got tonight. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, go for it, Dave. Go okay, for it, Dave. Okay, now you're playing the game. Look at this. <laughs> no. 35,000 times. No way. Now that's a beautiful move. So now Yuha has to decide here. I mean, look, Yuha has to fold this hand. If Yuha somehow moves all in, calls or, you know, plays this hand from here, I give him maximum credit here, but but Maddie's made a nice move here and it should work. Phil Curtis seemed to make a nice read on Maddie earlier and the obviously the bluff was showed. I yeah, and that's and that's helping Yuha right now. Plus he slammed the chips and that was kind of weird. Still, it's so unexpected, and it's just not a dry board. I mean, Maddie's done this with a complete air ball. Complete air ball. Us. Now he's playing the game. See, now you're playing the game, Maddie. <laughs> yes. I he mean, that, that's the game right there, baby. I mean, you know. Yeah, he's got positive reinforcement. He should have raised before oh, five. Is what he should have done. <laughs> Ace high. <laughs> now the blinds are going up, Jesse, 7 and 15. Yeah, a lot of swings and roundabouts. And uh, Tyler, Helpy, and Overstad, they've been the most aggressive. <laughs> Absolutely. And, uh, you know, I mean, Helpy and, uh, and, and Overstad have been very aggressive. And if they hadn't been aggressive, they may be down to like 75,000 each. Pass. <clears throat> Pass. Here she goes. There's seeing that with the king four. Yeah. <sighs> Pass. And, uh, There's the ace three. Ooh. I mean, he, he's going to have to eventually make some kind of move or he's going to get annied out. And he might, that's what's going through his head because he's actually studying with ace three here. He also, I mean, obviously, having played a net in the heat, he, um, he knows she moves weak. Mm. I mean, Go on. Pull in. Wow. And a call. Uh, not you again. Yeah, this is it. Not, not you again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind of. He wow, took I'm her out. Clean. He took her out of oh, nice. their heat, and now so he's no. poised to take no. her no. out. So Dave Maddie has so been Annette Oberstar's <laughs> bogey. I guess in that is. Yeah. You don't like yeah. all the flips. Nemesis, as we yeah. say. Nemesis. Oh, yep. She's got a king, and I'm happy. Yeah, she's Give me a king. Better believe she'll be happy. <laughs> Probably gonna be. She won't be yeah, happy if it comes ace ace. Good job. Straight flush. <laughs> There's the four. Wow, that's a big card oh, here. Oh, that is a big. <laughs> it's the exact same as the king, isn't it? Yeah. It's not over. Exactly. 
I had a nine. Deuce? Oh. Deuce. Yeah, deuce. It was a brave a call by Dave yeah. Maddie, but he has, he has <laughs> gone okay. rail bound. How about ten? It's not over. There was an yeah. ace last time they were all on the turn, right? He's going to kill. Oh, oh my god. god. Are you willing to Come call it on. over now, Phil? Oh, Come on. I mean, you know. But that's the danger so with the way the uh, that's the danger with the way she plays. <laughs> she's gonna shove, 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 and and she's gonna play a lot of big pots in her life with the worst hand. Because everybody knows she's gonna be making big bets <laughs> week, and they're gonna call her. And she's gonna play a lot of big pots in her life with the worst hand. You haven't come with that. That Who one came out on top. One, yeah, that and one. Uh, Annette, that could be the ticket that sends her through. It's definitely <laughs> the ticket that sends like Matty well, okay. out. Yeah. He's, uh, he's, he's had Thank a great you. tournament this European Open yeah. before. Annette, well played. He's going to get 9,000 uh, okay. well, bucks. Cheers. Well, you know, I mean, there was a thousand dollars between them, and that was out if she doesn't suck I'll out. Ever you know, do him with the best possible. <laughs> Phil, uh, the get, Curtis way. has when played very passively in the I small blind remember. against Yuha Helpy. That has to Sorry. change now, right? Yeah, that absolutely has to change. I mean, see if Tyler lets him go at it. Race. Ooh, he said he's not going to let him go <laughs> at it. Sort of the identical situation that Nick Slade faced. Actually, it's kind of funny, isn't it? Ooh, and there's a pair for Phil Curtis. No. I think he might go with it. Total. He might lay it down. He might go with it. Come Let's on. see. Wow. Oh, yeah. Gutsy. Gutsy. Well, he had to make a stand, you know. Pass. And, uh, cool. Just looking at he wanted yeah. to play a bigger pot. Yeah, and, and exactly. I mean, he had to make oh, a stand. I mean, that's all there was to it. But oh. What what yeah, all those folds sometimes. that he made earlier with the ace highs more exciting when you have forced him to play two fives, and that's the thing. You folded well, you all those you ace highs, and start. you got yourself on a coin flip. Whereas if he would have won four oh, or five of those already, pots, yeah. he'd have another <laughs> 60, 70, 80, <laughs> thousand in front of him, and his all-in move there would have just won the spot. Five it is a sure. massive coin flip because it's one for Phil Curtis's tournament it's life. Look at like that! I can't believe the math. He's fifty-five percent though. Seven seven. Fifty-five against forty-four. Look at that! I didn't realize that. Yeah, Not make, anymore. Uh, no. Good shot. Most of the time now, this is over. Yeah. You're not going to put a five on I, I'm still not seven. convinced this is over. I mean, he's hit some cards. Two outs. Tyler will be chip leader from these three One if this holds. <laughs> and we'll have our final table. Ooh. It's there. Oh, wow. Right. Final set table us. set. Good luck, man. I'm not going and there we go. Strong tournament from Phil Curtis, but uh, the three who are left and going to the final, worthy winners in every sense of the way. With a little bit of help, Yuha sure. had the worst hand, <laughs> Annette had the worst hand, and then, you know, Tyler almost busted himself we'll early with that kind of now. crazy Jack mm -hmm. Nine bluff. But, but other than that, I mean, yeah, they, I they all complain. played pretty well. It was one of those tables. It seemed every time someone got it in with the best hands, um, they lost. Uh, those are really frustrating. Um, it's just. It's, it's very disappointing to come fourth, you know, I really wanted to make the final. Um, at the end of the day, one coin flip at the end there would have got me to the final most likely. So, yeah, very disappointed. Okay. These are the stacks that they'll be uh, taking to the final <laughs> table. Uh, uh, Tyler and Annette will both be very competitive. Only Ian Fraser has more oh, chips than them. Uh, yeah, how long's the break? Bill and Yuha is going to kind of be on ball? the stack similar to the other two. Yeah, yeah but ball. they're going to lower the blinds, and so Yuha's 114 is just fine. I mean, it's going to be a long, drawn-out battle. Yeah. yeah. And uh, well, that's the thing. Uh, that felt good. Lines of <laughs> seven. <laughs> what do you mean? It felt good when I took him off the free game. No, 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 it was a lot better when I took him out. He's right back in it. Well, perhaps not as explosive as the first semifinal, but strategy and the force of aggression won in the end. Congratulations, guys. Make it to the final table. Now, uh, Yuha, not an easy start for you this evening. Yeah, my plan was to build a big stack, but it kind of uh, destroyed when Anet won the race against me. So I had to play a bit differently and just try to survive and make it to top three. Uh, you got there in the end. Annette, uh, I think the key words you said, oh no, not again, when, when Dave called you there near the end. <laughs> He's been your bogey this uh, entire tournament. Yeah, I know. He? I just couldn't win a showdown against him until now. <laughs> it was, that was the important one. Yeah, it was. And, uh, and, and through with 200 plus thousand. And uh, Josh, congratulations. Uh, it looked like the most significant pots for you happened, uh, I think, the first and second one you played. Yeah, they were pretty big. And, uh, bit of moving at the very start. You, you kind of had your caboose in a spot there uh, early on. It looked like a good enough board to have a stab at. 
so I took advantage. Well, best of luck to you three. Next time, the final table. These guys taking their chips forward and meeting Ian the Razor Fraser, Craig Burgess, and Nick Slade at the final table of the PartyPoker.net European Open 4.